What would happen if everything around you suddenly went dark? Not your house, not your street, your entire city gone black in an instant. At first, you assume it's temporary, a glitch, a fuse, something small. But then you step outside and realize the sky is darker than it should be. There are no headlights, no screens, no streetlights, just silence. The kind that makes you feel watched. Your phone still works, but the signal doesn't. It's like the world is still there, but unreachable. Within minutes, cars stall at intersections, elevators freeze, and everyone's face has the same expression. This wasn't supposed to happen. Shops close their doors because card machines die. Cash becomes the only currency that means anything. People start buying batteries, candles, water, the cheap things nobody cared about until right now. One hour passes and the city begins to cough. Trains stop. Hospitals switch to generators. Maps, banking apps, ride shares, everything digital goes silent. And people finally realize we built our entire lives on electricity. Six hours in, fridges warm up and food starts dying before people do. Phones drop under 20%. That's when fear arrives, quietly, like a shadow behind you. Traffic jams stretch for miles. Gas stations shut down. ATMs turn into useless bricks. And the city feels heavier, slower, almost abandoned. Twelve hours in, mobile networks collapse completely. No calls, no texts, no emergency help. Cash becomes more valuable than your credit card. Your flashlight becomes your most precious possession. By the next morning, water pressure drops. Taps weaken. Toilets stop refilling. Hospitals begin rationing fuel. Supermarkets lose their cold storage. And security alarms stop working entirely. And when a city loses power long enough, people change. Neighborhoods form watch groups. Shadows look like threats. Darkness becomes a warning. This is just the first 24 hours of a blackout. If this scares you, good. It should. Because everything you just heard could happen tonight, tomorrow, or in the next five minutes. Follow this account and subscribe right now for part two, where we show what happens on day three, when the real collapse begins.